Hey Saucy, yes you are first. Uh, welcome everybody to my stream. Let's get going. So uh, I got something today uh, at like 3.30, so I'm, it's not going to be a long stream today. But there was someone for the past two streams who had been bugging me very relentlessly to do new alliances. And I figured he'd be happy to see that I'm me play new alliances, so let's play new alliances. I've done this once before and I failed miserably, so I'll tell you a bit about what my plan is going to be for this. So we're going to do demigod difficulty. Uh, I'll, I'll write that in the description, I guess. Hey, yeah, it's Easter Day, but I'm like, there's no family gatherings still in Ontario. We still have uh, issues with the coronavirus, so we're going to have to stay apart. And so I can stream, of course. And yeah, so these are the intro scenarios. Some of these are decently interesting, although honestly, I've never really paid too much attention to them, but some people take them quite seriously. So uh, we're going to do intro number three. So there are four sieves, and when I tried last time, I played as Germany, because Germany has the best traits. Mill and egg. I've realized a few things, though. First of all, scientific is actually kind of useless, because uh, all of the sieves start with at least one in tech. So regardless, uh, you will start with a tech. Uh, so And ideally, we want to build the Great Library here, so... We could do out without the scientific, like we can make the scientific trait completely useless if we want to. Uh, militaristic and egg are still insanely good, but the other thing is the positioning on Germany. So when we were playing new alliances, we were playing as Germany, we had to guard off all these tiles. This is like, if you want to guard this all off, it's like one, two, three, it's like seven tiles or something ridiculous like that. Maybe... Yeah, literally seven tiles, unless you take router down. So that's obviously quite different. And despite that happening, despite that, they would still send units over this chain and the Byzantines wouldn't block it. So I'd have war on so many fronts. So I was getting pillaged out. I was trying to build a great library, trying to build workers, trying to build settlers, trying to scale. But I just couldn't do it, even with the, the trebuchets and everything I was building. So I think the better play is to actually play as the Byzantines, because then you can just knock like put one city here in walls and it's done and then you just have to just hope the the germans hold off here if they try to boat you if like they try to do a naval attack you just build dramans and you get your golden age so not only is your unique unit really good uh but you can easily uh get, trigger your golden age which is quite useful early golden age means you can get the great library early great library means you don't need a late golden age so yeah uh, this is one of the ones that comes pre-installed with the game. It's not a conquest scenario. It's labeled as an intro scenario, but it's in the conquest folder. Uh, yeah, it's just a 2v2 scenario, basically. So the reason I didn't want to go to the Byzantines is they're really awful, kind of. So the German Munich unit is more useful if you can get to it. And, I mean, you start in monarchy, and you wouldn't, you're wouldn't perma-war, so you wouldn't want to do republic. So religious is kind of garbage. But, but not any, I think it's, religious is actually arguably better than uh, scientific is. Because it gives you a cheaper border expand with plus one happiness. Commercial is kind of middle of the road. And seafaring, eh, is kind of below average, but not useless the way that, it's better than scientific or religious. Yeah, really what you'd want is industrious or egg. Uh, I think the Dutch are... These might actually be the better traits. Hmm. Wait, so if you play as the Dutch, you can just do uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, this is still hard. One, two, three, four, five, six. You could do seven, but you'd only have to guard the city. If. And then you'd still have to worry about this. No. Uh, other thing is you could actually colonize the southern land here. That might be fun. Uh, we have two coastal cities to start. Okay. Yeah, let's do this. So even though, yeah, these traits are vastly inferior, we can kind of make it work. So let's give it a try. 
Oh, in Portugal, yeah, weirdly, they're not scientific, but the Portuguese are scientific. What the hell? Wait, what's the Portuguese unique unit? Do they have to wait till the caravels in this scenario? Let's see how much effort they put into the Cyclopedia. Uh, Panzer's still here. Uh, so I guess we... Because for the Germanies get the Teutonic Knights, and it says so in the Cyclopedia. Portuguese still get the Karx. Okay. Yeah, the three trait function in the conquest is really sick. The, the downside, though, is that the game is set usually set up so that the three one of the three traits is pretty useless, if not multiple. Like being expansionist in Napoleonic Europe or whatever. Yeah, we actually start with a lot of. Spearman, I think we can just, yeah. Uh, I think we just bang out a settler. Yeah, tech off. Do a settler. Or could we do a settler faster here, actually? Uh, we got barracks and temples everywhere. Uh, so maybe religious isn't that good. Yeah, we're still going to get the, the, the border expand everywhere. Okay, talk to Germany. Do we always start with the same tech? One more time with feeling. Hmm. Guess so. Ah, but yeah, we're going to take all these units out. That's why the happiness goes all the way down. <laughs> Yeah, we'll get settler here, uh, settler here, settler here. Settler in five's not bad. Yeah, that's okay. So, do we just start the great library? I think we do Draman here. Draman can serve as like mini artillery, like mobile artillery too. So that's good. Twenty-five turns. I can make it twenty-five turns. Uh, I think doing the quick worker will be better in the long run, though. What is the game HOI, and is it as good as Civ? Hearts of Iron? Uh, so I like some of the Paradox game games, but uh, I find the ones like Hearts of Iron and the one from Victoria to be... They're set too late, kind of. like You have too much stuff. All, all the nations that are actually fun to play as are just too big. Maybe that's a, a weird opinion, but I, I stick by it. Okay, we can actually do another worker if we really want one. Yeah. Because the, the worker is, is good for a bunch of things. The, the Great Library, it's a good power spike, but we might... It delays the Great Library, but it makes us stronger in the meantime, which is equally important. Oh, we can just buy this. Yeah, let's get this sooner than later. That was a bit wasteful, but that's yeah, okay.
Uh, so where does this next city go? Um... If we if we could do one here and get the fish, but it's not on the river and we don't get this bonus grassland. I think honestly this is best, and then we'll do something across the the pond for the fish. Yeah, I could do here. Okay, show me your worst, Portugal. Uh, in what era do I... I don't know. I don't, I don't really know how the late game works here. I'm just kind of hoping the early game does me some magic. Okay, let's see what this actually looks like. Uh, 775, okay, that's not bad. So the volcano is not super likely to go off. Mm, we'll put this one on the hill. I think the AI is programmed not to actually attack with uh, with ships. Uh, this is, <laughs> it's the new scenario, it's the new alliances uh, scenario. Uh, check it out if you're not familiar. Can we just do that? I guess so. Uh, so barbs will eventually spawn, and I'm not really seem to be seeming to be running into any issues. So I guess I'll defend these cities for. We'll see him coming when he starts in that. Yeah, I, I think the the way the AI programming works, they they won't actually attack your dramas with their galleys just because they see galleys as being only transport ships. Is this on Steam? Yeah, it comes with the game. If you have Civ Three Conquest, you have the scenario, um, and some people like it, so I'd recommend checking it out. There's some decent thought put into it. Okay, this is stupid. <laughs> this is way, way easier than whatever the fuck I was doing as the uh, as the Germans. I just have to hope that the Germans don't like let them. Th now, if they're programmed to go around here and just crush the Germans together, now then I'm in some trouble. But uh, at least they'll have reduced roads while they try that strategy. So I'm hopeful. Get some horses out. I think it's Germany. I just bought a gran. Yeah, I think actually just buying a granary is probably the. Uh, too late now, boys. We're uh, we're in it for good. <laughs> After privateers, they, huh? Maybe the, the the programming on privateers is is different then. I 
Oh, wow, okay, so they, they absolutely do attack your galleys. Uh, not successfully in this case, but it does happen. Oh, did he just buy a harbor? Anyway, we're in a golden age. 13 turns on the Great Library. We'll grab some harbors. Uh, the harbors let us get veterans out. Yeah. Uh, this guy definitely needs to run and hide, though. Okay, uh, let's go settler. But we're going to chain the irrigation over. Two workers is perfect for chaining irrigation across a road. Uh, because when you... it There's no moves wasted, so... Four divides evenly into two, so you don't waste any moves. Maybe I will just put this guy right here. Nice, maybe I can turn this down a bit. Okay, I'll send one Spearman up here just to keep an eye, keep tabs on what they're sending across this if I need to get involved. Hey, Yule. Are you up early or staying up late, uh, Yule? Uh, so the reason I'm inclined to do this, Maud Joseph, is because it's, I already have it installed and I'm decently familiar with it. Uh, I don't like having to do, like, learn an entire new mod just to, like, play, uh, a stream at a decent level. Hmm. So yeah, these catapults can like bombard passing ships. Uh, they can do a lot of cool things. Oh my god, I did it wrong again. I should have started irrigation, and then I rode one turn later, and they'll both be done at the same time, and, and no wasted moves. Uh, that is not what I did. <laughs> Oh, so much production. Man, I might even be able to get multiple wonders here. Oh, Jesus. Catapult per two. Yeah, so no trouble in Varna. Grab a quick library for some extra territory. We're playing the new Alliances mod. So this is the one that comes pre-installed with the game. It's it's listed with the conquests, although it's not it doesn't call itself a conquest. It says it's um an intro scenario. Oh, we can also do saws. If we do this we can get if we get this we can do saws. So if we put this here, we get the bonus grassland and the wheat. Mm, so this is coastal and we get the double PG. Ah, yeah, as long as we're the one attacking, we get great RNG here. Yeah, he can attack our ships pretty easily, but then he'll just die when on the counterattack if we are in position to counterattack. 
World War II Conquest of Japan? That is a classic way too many units to micro for me to deal with situation. Uh, I'm a fan of playing as China, though. I actually did China for a, uh, a YouTube video. I don't think I've ever... Yeah, I've played definitely played America and the UK. I, I honestly don't think I've ever played as... What was it called? Um, America or Japan, like a full playthrough all the way through. I'll, I'll do, I've done like the starts. America just seems kind of boring. Okay, as long as Germany's not using, losing any cities, I'm a, a happy camper here. Teturka North map? It's too big. <laughs> it's like, how... The, has anyone played that to completion? If someone has like a completed file of the Teturka North map, then by all means send it to me. I'm curious what it looks like. Okay, there's Glib. And we'll just keep grabbing wonders, I guess. Uh, Moz is kind of crap here. Oh, he's seller. Okay. I think this is fine. We might want to turn to production, but it gets us a better city spot. Oh, hello. Nice. Damn, he's just given up on trying with his workers to reconnect these cities. <laughs> oh, come off. What the fuck? Did it send my... I sent these two guys together and it moved them in two different directions. That's some Civ 3 pathing type shit. Holy crap. They attacked into being lost. Okay, uh, let's grab this hill. Oh, uh, yeah, this is colossally easier than whatever the fuck we were doing last time. Like I said, um, oh, his work is done, so I won't even lose any turns on, what was it called? Uh, pyramids are, might actually be good. Ah, we caught a little glimpse right here. Let's not make a mistake. So we got some text for free from the Great Library, so including engineering, so we can walk over those rivers. Okay, let's start roading towards our good friends, the Portuguese. Ah, that baits him in. Catapults go here, I think. So we have the ivory, yeah, just quick grab of Statue of Zeus. Doesn't cost us much. A 
let's not keep our emperor empress in such a precarious position Okay, let's keep up our wonder stacking ways. Uh, Leos, if I can get Leos, I'll go for Leos. Does this thing have two rate of fire? It is it buffed in this scenario, or does it always have two rate of fire? That's kind of crazy. The pathing, oh my god, it's going to be the death of me. Okay, uh, so we're here, right? I think something like this and then that. Even though it's two tiles apart, we're commercial and this is a small map, so we've got room to fuck around with. Can kind of sail around here and rescue myself, but no. Uh, out into the distance. We'll grab the the temple here, just so the city's not total garbage. Did we already have horses? Yeah, we already had horses. So let's check the map again. Uh, no, there's nothing in that direction, but if we do want this wonderland over here, we're free to, to skip across the pond. Germany's got lots of room. Nice and unblocked, yeah. I could land somewhere, oh, I could actually. Uh, so if I, if he has these gems hooked, he doesn't have the gems hooked, but if he did, I could pillage them from, from the canal. Ooh, nice, our catapults are ready too. Did I see uh, something I could kill there? Ah, I love hunting these fuckers down. Ah, trying to plant, I ah, see, what the fuck? Okay, much better. Uh, looks like Germany's gonna get this one unless uh, something weird happens, so. Uh, yeah, this one's going back home. Okay, so there's invention. Uh, so that solidifies the idea in my head of what our plan's going to be. We're going to go for a knight or a horseman stack that we upgrade to knights. So we'll grab Leo's. I don't know how much long we have in the Golden Age. Likely... Probably a little bit more, it's just enough to... Now, if he doesn't plant, then that's good. If he does plant, then that kind of really fucks me. I guess next city. Oh, no, there's nothing there. Oh, fuck, this should be on the... Fuck, I messed this up. It should be on the grassland to get this.
Yeah, so do any of you guys have plans for Easter? My family lives pretty far away. Eh, decently far. Across the city at the, the nearest. But some of you guys might live with your, your family. Or just have an easier time. Maybe some of you guys are vaccinated. Oh my god. Can I do it? Oh, you gotta be kidding. <laughs> Boo. <laughs> I'd at least like the option. Yeah, so I'm not afraid of telling people to, to screw off if I if I think they're being annoying. So go ahead and try to annoy me. It's okay. Yeah, like that same guy, like at the end of the stream, he asked, he, he was like, oh, if you don't mind, could you just like do like a little video that you'd upload this week? And I was like, absolutely not, man. I, I got a schedule of videos to do. Uh, I, I can't be just doing random requests for scenarios that I, I frankly am not sure if I could play correctly, but it turns out my idea for how to play this actually does work quite well. Uh, but yeah, uh, generally I'll, if, if it's something I want to do, I'll, I'll get, I'll get around to doing it like I did this one. Your New Zealand plans, uh, involve going east. Three public holidays. So there's Good Friday, there's Easter Monday, and what are the other holidays? Wait, do I have Monday off? Maybe I do. I had, I had Friday off. Hmm. I think that's worth investigating. I would adore having an extra holiday. So I've done Sengoku a million times on stream and people will not stop requesting it. So I'm just never going to do it again because you guys are clearly never satisfied. <laughs> the, I'll, I can link, if you guys comment on my channel, I'll link you to those old streams because uh, I've done it at least three times. Uh, I guess I could do like a, an assassin. I've heard that assassins are very good. So if I was going to do it, it'd be like a min-maxing, like actually trying to like try hard type uh, playthrough. Also... <laughs> If you're a fan of Sengoku, you are like 10% a weeb, and I will not listen, sit here and listen to a weeb lecture me about how I'm a virgin for liking new alliances. <laughs> should take a long, hard look in the mirror and assess your scenario preferences. We all know Age of Discovery is the one true Chad scenario. Uh, I should have put this here, then I could get the, the double floodplain. That's okay, though. Oh, how's my unit support Oh, fuck, I'm way over the cap. Okay, he just has not rotated. <laughs> He's so behind on his worker moves. <laughs> Don't like about New Zealand are political things. Uh, so yeah, I heard there was something. What were they doing? Three, four. Really? Oh my God, I, I keep on losing. You know what, I'll just take this bad boy across. Show them.
I really hope there's no barbs because I forgot to take my spearmen with me. Wow. Imagine being a man so powerful you can just like award people <laughs> a holiday at your whim. That's glorious. Yeah, like, I guess like stimulus checks would be the equivalent to that. Like the Trudeau bucks and the Trump literally writing his name on the, trying to write his name on the check. I don't know if he succeeded or not. Uh, but yeah, like if people did that here, they'd just be like, oh, such pandering. You know, he's just trying to get votes. But because he's a monarch, he can like, I don't need votes and I'm still doing it. Aren't I the best? Uh, this is a different type of canal, but it's equally fun to block. We did, yeah. Uh, you got you got two K like just over the the Christmas break. You guys got oh, a thousand last time. Yeah, you've had three thousand total. And it applies to every. Wait, is it, weren't the stimulus dollars for just straight up everybody in the United States? In Canada, I think they give you eight K, but it was only if you lost your job or if you reduced some. It, it, it's pretty broad and people are interpreting it more broadly because uh, the government but like, yeah like the the cost of this like so many people applied to the stimulus that is like very clear that some people are bullshitting based on what economists know about how the Canadian economy is actually functioning I don't really consider that this was supposed to be a late game scenario but I guess that's where we're going Oh, there's the Black Death in this. How fun. Okay. You can actually... He so your boats can't heal in the wonder water, but your military units can heal while in a boat. So we just shuffle off and then it turns out okay. Okay, I think I'm not doing Sun Tzu's. So again, like $2,000 in US dollars over the course of a month is fucking huge. Like remember, like, Ours was more restrictive, and it was only 8,000 Canadian over the course of four months. And you guys, sorry, you guys got like a ton of employment insurance too. Like often when people talk about like the crazy high numbers from other countries, it's because they're counting employment insurance, which the Americans got a ton of. We'll take one horseman, even though eventually we're going to want to upgrade, but... Uh, do we have Shiv yet? Just everybody's teching painfully slow in this. That's fine by me. So I'm not in a golden age. I can do pyramids in 11? Fuck yeah. You're goddamn right I want to do that. Oh my god, he planted this, this fucker planted on a hill. Okay. Big boy attack. So because he planted inland, like, not only does that give him the defense bonus, but I also can't... Let's see what this does. Uh, I also can't uh, bombard him. So, 2 out of 7, and then 4 out of 13... Ah. Bailey, right? Yeah, like I 
I do think our like Canada's was quite generous, but I think people are like underselling how generous the American one is. Wait, did this just go from fucking? Wow, we just got plus two shields. So that's insane. Yeah, I guess this is like the perfect situation for a courthouse to be valuable. What what's with the skull? It's the the plague. So like in the medieval conquest or whatever other conquest. Okay, uh, we'll put a city here, I guess. Can't even heal in the city. Oh, Jesus, this is cheap. Yeah, I forgot. So because we we're playing accelerated production, the costs are way down. And then I got Leo's on top of that. Well, is he really trying to plant that? The nerve. God. He, he must have, like, a lot of additional cities in his back line here that I can't really see. Because otherwise, I just don't know where he holds the audacity. Oh, wait, I, I, this is pretty easy to deal <laughs> I thought I was going to have to ferry stuff over from here, but it's like, no, not in the least. I can upgrade these. Yeah, I should go as soon as I get Shiv before he gets a bunch of muskets. And I won. Nice. Ooh, we got some bombards off too. Wow, he did fucking bot slang, huh? Uh, have you ever won a single player game where I lost my capital? Yeah, it's there's one on my YouTube channel. Uh, so it's called Gotta Govern Fast. Kind of spoilers, but Gotta Govern Fast. Uh, as Greece. It wasn't like I, I lost my capital and I bravely fought back. My soldiers like pushed the line. It wasn't like fucking hundred years war and i'm joan of arc it was more like i had to write a passage and my capital was empty and i had railroads so they just wandered into my empty capital and took it <laughs> and destroyed my they destroyed all my spaceship parts too <laughs> so that sucked uh but technically it meets your criteria so that actually makes a big difference so i'm just gonna use an entertainer Yeah, this is why I don't do RPs anymore. Eh, I mean, I sometimes do, but... He's just, like, buying one per turn. How much fucking gold is he sitting on? Okay, uh, we should try to get these cities to size 7, actually, if we can, uh, for the unit support, because that makes a big difference in our economy. I think there's some dyes over here. It's the only new luxury, but it, it exists.
I guess all the horses will go here. And this city could use the aqueduct too. Uh, probably just worth, yeah, just straight up buying it. So this gives us a good return. Probably not the end of the world that I'm just losing shit because... And he got another... Gee, how many does he fucking build every... He's literally buying one per turn. Okay, oh, that's... I guess that's the explanation that he's just sitting on mountains and mountains of gold. Okay, uh, Caesarea. Build a settler so that doesn't happen again. Oh, so this one's not on a hill. Uh, it's also still not coastal, but I can can kind of work with that. Wow, well, these I know when the, when the text messages start getting long, I know something's up. Uh, you guys are talking between you're talking to each other and not to me. Oh wait, I think there's like kind of a, a middle ground. Like if there's ever like a paragraph long message, it's probably like a someone talking to me but if it's like half a paragraph it's people debating about whether Carthage is worthy of being a civilization in the game or something which they totally are are we not doing that in Canada uh the minimum wage worker thing? Where is, where is it going? Yeah. I mean, they should certainly be given medical benefits. I think that's a minimum. Okay, here we are. Oh, yeah, it's especially brutal in the United States because there's no universal health care in the United States. Ah, nice. I put it in the right one. Okay. Ah, it's so low on the map, it's hard to get here. My nation is just so dummy thick. The, the clap of my unit cheeks keeps on alerting the Portuguese. So at this rate, they might do calves or get at least pretty close to calves before they get education, which would be really, really nice. Ah, you're up to something. You're up to no good. Okay, well, I actually have to get these trebuchets in first before I can do anything... Too interesting. Uh, you're right about that, Morgan, but at the same time, I don't think people should have to move, like, ridiculously. There should be at least vaguely reasonably priced housing within cities. It's just a policy failure that there's not. It's it's not something inherent to cities. Uh, Canada's there's actually like a movement in Minneapolis, uh, even in California of all places. So I I think weirdly what happened was like Trump had this idea that he'd. Uh, he kind of played like, oh, the Democrats are going to destroy the suburbs. And so like the the super, super partisan, like Bay Area type hyper liberals, which were before they were like against gentrification and development. Suddenly they're like, oh, Trump is against this. Well, I guess we're against the or we're, we're in favor of this then. Uh, and that's actually done wonders for getting uh, like bans on single family zoning and stuff like that. Or sorry, legalizing the missing middle housing.
because no one's ever going to ban single family zoning. It's just you should be allowed to build other things, uh, which currently you're not. Okay, so we're going to send the... Um, We're gonna send these bad boys in first. This is kind of terrifying. We'll leave the medis in, in reserve. Uh, unreasonable high demand for people to live there. So that's part of it, but oh, there's a lot of like supply. Like you, you can have more housing in, in urban areas. But there are things like mandatory lot sizes. Like they just like have these laws that your lot size has to be this big. You have to have this much in like backyard or the side yards. Like you could be putting the houses close in together. There's plenty of room for more houses, but they're just mandating that people have the house more spread out. Uh, so that leads to urban sprawl. And yeah, you could do infill development, but laws and regulations prevent it. I noticed you have two cows. Where would the other ones be? Hmm, let's see. Does everybody have a cow in this scenario? But So Germans get two cows. I get two cows. Portuguese get zero cows. Wow, this is such an unbalanced scenario. <laughs> Portuguese have it rough. Yeah, commutes are definitely rough. Yeah, it's okay if people want there to be... So I feel if people... if, Like, I, I know some people feel like not only do they want to live in a single-family home, but they also don't want to live next to, like, a big high-rise apartment, which is, like, I mean, that's kind of a valid... Like, people have preferences, and I think we should respect that. Um, the issue is there's ways of respecting, like, they can just, like, move into a neighborhood with a homeowners association that would ban that kind of development. They don't have to, like, impose their preference, like, make it Ill literally illegal to, to build any other type of housing. Uh, so this isn't a random map. This is a scenario. So <laughs> I, I can't say the cows didn't go into my calculations when I, I chose my start. Favorite historical music, like Battle... That's... Uh, I'm not that much of a history nerd, I don't think. Uh, I, I, I kind of have a thing for ragtime music, which was actually really influenced by uh, by March music. Uh, I do like Union... Uh, what was that one? Union Dixie. That's become a, a bit of a meme recently, but that one, I, it actually slaps pretty hard. Uh, yeah, I do like a lot, a lot of like pre 1960s music. Not like a lot of pre 1960s music, but enough. I, I like swing music. Uh, like hot jazz. So for people who don't know, like people talk a lot about cool jazz, but it, the ter the original term was like, oh, they'd say this jazz is hot, this joint is is hot. Uh, so that was like the uh, an earlier era of jazz that I, I'm more into than. I don't really like bebop influenced stuff so much. And, and there was like a stronger in ragtime influence on that kind of jazz, so. It's more up my alley. Uh, do you have any recommendations for like historical music, you said? Uh, I have to say, I'm not really into like going through sheet music, though. Uh, they have to be like good modern re recordings for me to really enjoy something. Jeddah is the big port, big port city. Uh, is that the the Persian Gulf in Arabia? Yeah, Joseph, I do think Homer's Association suck. 
But one of the reasons that they suck is because they they just tell you what you can do with your home because it's it's your neighbors insisting on how basically like how you can keep your property. But the thing is that the government actually does that. The government says, oh, you can't have this size lot. You have to have this many parking spaces. You have to have uh, your, or your lot has to be this far like off the sidewalk. Like you, you can't have your, your house like that close to the street. It has to be further in. There's all kinds of regulations that uh, are done through like you're, it's just illegal to build any other type of housing rather than being punished with like a, a measly homeowners association fine. Uh, so if people want to volunteer, like I, I would never get a house with a homeowners association, but if people want to voluntarily sign up for that because they're that nosy about how people keep their the lot next door, you know what? All the power to them. That's how they should do it. They shouldn't like use the law to to force their preferences onto people. Oh, okay, let's see if we can finally take Garda. Oh my god, the city just never dies. Arrgh. Okay. Let's see what we can do here. Uh, here's one night. Yeah, let's take these. Let's call them the bad boys. The bad boys of Nicaea? Nicaea? I don't know what you guys told me to call it, but whatever it is. Do you have cream eggs? We absolutely do have Cadbury cream eggs, although they're a lot smaller than they were when I was younger, and that kind of disappoints me. Uh, they might have changed in taste, too. I'm not sure. Wouldn't surprise me. But yeah, I remember like my parents would like take me to, to buffets when I was younger, where they'd have unlimited Cadbury cream eggs. We actually don't have a lot of... We have Kinder Surprises, but we don't have a lot of Kinder Chocolate. Uh, I actually love like the the Kinder chocolate, like the 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 white filling, whatever it is, is absolutely amazing taste to me. Uh, but I I've never figured. Yeah, you can't just you can buy the the eggs, which is okay, I guess, but you can't buy the actual chocolate, so that's a shame. Oh, here we go. Hmm. Uh, are we just gonna fucking? Yeah, okay, there we go. Uh, Multi regret leader would be nice, but I'm not gonna be too picky. Nicene, as in the Nicene Creed. Generic Canadian Easter lunch. We have turkey. I know. Sometimes it's hard to tell, like, what are things that my family does versus what are things that are just normal things to do. Uh, like my, my my parents were very big on like we all eat every night we eat dinner together, no matter what, uh, all sitting down at the day dinner table like no never 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 at the TV or anything like that, uh, and we'd say grace before dinner, and I thought that was just a normal thing that most families do, but apparently no. They just have dinners at separate times or whatever, or they have dinner somewhere other than the dinner table. <laughs> wow. Okay, I kind of just slapped combat here with this pikeman. That was a good place to put the pikeman, I guess. Nice, we, uh, we got his walls. Okay. There's no reason to do that. Yeah, there we go. Lagos. I really hope culture flips are turned off. We need some workers up in here. Wow, the Dutch are just uh, kind of eating him for breakfast. Yeah, let's take this guy over here. Yeah, we definitely have like chocolate eggs and Easter bunnies. We do egg hunts sometimes, so we we hide like the Easter eggs around the house, 
and they turn up several years later. We, we'd like, my parents were like very aggressive with how they hid them and yeah. <laughs> they could be hard to find sometimes. But you know, that, that was part of the magic. Because you knew, you knew when you were looking that no like hiding place could be too crazy for there to be an egg there. Wow, he just straight up catapulted me. You don't see that very often. You do not see that. Okay, uh, I think my, yeah, my unit support situation is a bit better now. Uh, it's not much better because we have a, a much bigger military, but... Oh, nice. That was a pain in his ass that we got rid of him, got rid of for him. Wow, the Dutch are actually here. Hmm. So unload, bombard, wow, the Dutch are really here. Once the Karak Karaks come out, we're going to have trouble, but... Oh, I guess like even these AIs are probably doing the teching themselves and they aren't trading to each other. Uh, so just because the, the Portuguese have something doesn't mean the Dutch do, or vice versa. Kind of have to wait for my buddy Germany to get on board. You've eaten an alligator, Lucian? Hmm. Uh, I've eaten bugs before. Uh, I love... I absolutely adore eating duck. There's nothing I love more to do when I'm in Toronto than just, like, buying, like, half a duck. You can get it for, like... It used to be $10. It's probably more now. But it's a honking good time. Ah, oh, no, my roads. Ah, oh, we should do bottom text, actually. You fucker, you better not. Don't even try. Oh, nice. Whatever he did failed, so... Hmm, ha. Okay, let's go. Really? Fucking really? Jesus, huh? why is that so hard? Huh? Oh, wow, there's an entire other leg of this thing. And the Dutch are here. Hmm. Well, I guess I'm going to have to kill some Dutch mercenaries or whatever they're called. Swiss mercenaries, that's what they're called. So yeah, I guess this is just one way to play this scenario. Um, I, I like the Great Library Rush. I do think the early Golden Age is important. Uh, I'm not sure how you'd do this as any other Civ. I guess maybe the Dutch start with feudalism. Uh, so that'd be okay for them. But as Germany and uh, Portugal, I'm not really sure how to play it. Lisbon isn't even coastal. If they were, it was coastal, I'd say build Colossus, because Col Colossus gives uh, a Golden Age to Portugal. But that's not the case. Or that's not an option. Yeah, we're going to need more... How's... Wow, this is... Garbage production. That's a little bit faster. Yeah, I'm doing work with what I... Oh, my God. <laughs> the danger. <laughs> I really hope I'm, like, somehow relieving pressure from the uh, Germans so they could, like, build up, like, a death push or something. I don't know. Uh, so because it's his capital, we actually can't tell if he has walls, but if he does, he do, he still gets the defense bonus, so be aware of that.
Yeah, like what the Dutch are like, Germans are really letting the ball drop. This is like not a short distance through German land <laughs> to get there. How's my Sunday going? I had a good morning. I played some Fortnite with a friend. Uh, oh, I did like two hours of teaching too, so I got paid. Oh, yeah, of course, as always, we are going to have our game. You know what? I'll actually give a shout out because I've recently, um, one sec, I've recently updated the, the ladder site. Yeah, so there's some additional content here now, so I'll put this in here. If you want to, there's a link to the Discord and a link to the, the Steam group. Uh, but yeah, like I added some, the formatting, I'll, I'll concede the formatting here is is not the prettiest thing in the world, but there are some some more guides now and uh modes yeah updated information about the modes like it was saying that qc was the most popular mod which was a fucking lie it might have been a year ago when we wrote this text or maybe nat wanted it to be that way uh but it's not anymore and yeah it's stuff like funny jokes like this uh we do have a few rules lawyers in the Civ 3 community, so the, the rules tab has been updated <laughs> to remove all possible ambiguity that we have noticed. Um, I'm sure there's more, but for now it should be a big improvement. So yeah, definitely check out the latter website if you're curious. We'll take you from the bottom. I think, so not not you yet, uh, Tony, but Survivor is actually moving on up. And he joined like just like a, a two weeks or something before you did. So have faith. Uh, Jesus. Or maybe if you want, just like maybe learn another mod. Because uh, then you might... It might be easier to, like, if you haven't sunken as far down in ELO. Uh, and, and most of the skills are, like, applicable between the different mods, so. I expected to do at least, like, one point of damage. There we go. That was, like, really swingy RNG, but I'm, I'm not one to complain. I think this guy can make it in time for the party. A Warhammer QC. Yeah, you guys did that in the single player Discord, huh? Joseph, are you uh, uh, Fluff or Fluff's dad from the, the single player Discord by any chance? I know Fluff was a, a big fan of that one. Okay, keep pushing south. Uh, we killed the ship and whatever was in it, so take some pressure off us. Ah, okay. Well, welcome to the back to the stream. I'm sure you've been here for a while. <laughs> Pretty sure you've made comments on one of the Discord's reference in the stream, so I'm not gonna reference or I mean, welcome you as if you you just got here or something. So the Warhammer mod, I think I did try that. Yeah, I was hoping you guys making the QC, but you guys figured it out on eventually. Uh, so they don't drink what stuff? Kool-Aid? Yeah, I did. A, QC used to be, I mean, it was the most, so and that isn't lying. It was the most popular multiplayer scenario, but um, so the main reason it was so popular was that it, um, 
it was a lot it was the, the best way to play in the, the non ladder era uh but now that we have the net ladder we don't it's kind of a relic of the past we it's still good for a bunch of oh my god am i huh maybe oh nah okay we got the pike here so we're not going to lose our stack or anything we pro we got pretty good rng there all things considered so i'm not going to complain but It worked great non ladder. Yeah, so the ladder, like it, it, for for the same community, we're playing the same scenarios, but it's interesting how much of an effect it has on the games themselves. Uh, so like, people prefer to like play like a greedy carry style when they're playing non-ladder, but that's the meta in QC. So it doesn't really impact anything, but in MPT, for example, people will just like, if it's non-ladder, they just don't care if they die turn 10 because they don't want to have to like play safe. Uh, so that's the, the reasoning behind. Uh, the change in popularity. Also, we I, modern came out like it's been sucking up at least a lot of my attention, and a lot of the QC players like playing modern. <laughs> DRC, as if we don't stereotype Italian people too. Come on. <laughs> and Majed isn't European. Modern's fantastic. I know, like, you guys are playing P play by email, though. I don't know how the balance is with that one. But yeah, but lately people have been playing all four scenarios, so that's good. I do think there's, like, if we have an active player base, there definitely is room for four main ladder scenarios getting played every week. Uh, and stuff like going through phases of two or three. Oh, uh, okay. He's got no harbor, so at least if he buys a unit, it cannot be... Um, The super scary guys. Uh, can't be a Swiss mercenary. Let's. Hmm. I think we can actually. Yeah, they've kind of like mm, fucked off, basically, to put it crudely. Uh, oh, we, we do need to heal our shit, though. Oh, wait, if we get lucky here... Ah, damn, okay. So he only heals two hit points, so next turn he'll have one reduced hit point. So it help, bombarding early actually helps us out. Did we get education? Okay, we have to do calves ourselves, I guess. Shouldn't be too bad, but. So I'm, I'm giving myself extra commerce to fix the, the happiness problems. Oh, and now he has fucking muskets. Uh, not a ton just yet, but. Okay, uh, I guess what we can do is we can starve out the city. Ooh, 
Ooh, this one was fun. Nice, okay. So we'll attack with the Medis first. Okay, beautiful. Uh, there's not gonna be any retreating, so we'll attack with another Medi. Great, we got him. Everybody get on over here. Yeah, we want those dies, those sweet, sweet dies. Uh, Pike goes here, Pike goes here. I guess we can take the city at our leisure, but no hurry. Russian is an Eastern Ukrainian <laughs> European. <laughs> or is it Rusin like a, a separate uh, ethnicity or nationality? Do you feel the COVID spiked? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, that was when the Discord got super popular. So uh, absolutely 100%. Now the question is like, is it still, is that is that permanent or is that uh, temporary? And I definitely think, like some people are just hooked now and they're just gonna permanently play, but, because that's the thing, like, of the people who try multiplayer, maybe a quarter of them will stick around like for for years. But the people who do stick around, they're 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 in for good, you know. Uh, so even if a lot of the players don't have time for it anymore, they're hooked now. So when they do have time, they'll play. And the people who don't have any time to play probably weren't that hooked anyway. Rusins. Oh, I didn't know. Uh, so, is that uh, like uh, related to the Roma people? Why did I choose Demigod? I thought it was a nice in-between. Yeah, so that's all the two food tiles. He, he's just straight up going to starve now. Nothing he can do about it. Aha. Ooh, that's useful knowledge. I don't know if it's useful. Is he just pillaged that badly? Ah, f oh, I think I've seen them in like uh, Europa Universalis or something. They got like a blue and, and yellow flag, maybe. <laughs> I might have pulled that out of my ass, but maybe I'm right. Well, at least I'll be able to spend my gold on something, on, on teching. So this is good because I don't actually have to pillage his tiles uh, to reduce his food. Uh, so that way I can keep the tile, like keep the roads and stuff. Yeah, now he's he's down a size. And I think this is ready to go. I really wish he would just, yeah, get away. <laughs> Never talk about discrimination against the Roma people in Europe. Uh, I mean, it's not really relevant for Americans and then people in Europe don't like thinking of it as discrimination, I guess. Yeah, here it's kind of like out of sight, out of mind. Mm-hmm. Like, I mean, there's something comparable with, like, the way that people perceive 
like black Americans and Latino Americans that people think that they're they're more criminal or that they're scared of them or whatever. But there are like a ton, there's like a ton of positive, like comparatively, there's a ton of positive representation of African Americans throughout, throughout history, in the media, in the arts. It's very, maybe I'm, I'm just not familiar with it, but it's very hard to think of something comparable for the Roma people. And there's that same perception that, yeah, that they're, they're bad. Yeah, friend, I'm not really knowledgeable enough to know what the solution is. But I, yeah. <laughs> Oh, nice. I knocked one of those bad boys out. Uh, I believe people don't say gypsy anymore. It's it's seen as a slur. Oh, shit. That's his king. Woo, okay. I'm coming for you, Netherlands. It's on. Yeah, I mean, that seems like the least you can do. Not to mean like the word, yeah, the, whatever that way it's first people just use it as like a, a slur, like meaning to like to, to cheat someone. They say the first half of that word. Uh, people also use it to mean someone who's like a, a roaming, like a, either like a bandit or like a, a bard, a traveling minstrel. It's just got so many weird f connotations to it that I, I could see why they'd want a rebranding. Uh, and I think it's only fair to give it to them. I mean, do, do they call you a chud based on like your, your gender or your sexuality or your ethnicity or whatever the case? Yeah, because that's an interesting thing about linguistics that the origin of a world word often has no connection to how it's actually used, and, and it's really how it, it's used and what it means in practice that matters more than what the origin is. The, the origin is more as a neat little anecdote and not much else. Uh, so that means that like very good, like useful and and commonplace words can have bad origins, and that's okay. But the opposite can be true, that something could have had like a completely innocent origin and it, it still evolves into something that's debasing or... or is it? Is that what the origin of it is? People used to joke about the, the, the origin, like the word chode having a particular meaning that it might be too crude to repeat on stream. It, it wasn't like discriminatory or anything like that. Uh, I'm not sure if, if chud is, is related to that or not. I always just assumed it was an offshoot, but it might not be. What are you doing in my land, Germany? <laughs> There's no barbs here. You, you physically can't get over the bridge this way. There's people for you to fight. Come on, go fight them. Huh, like now that you mention it, like, I, I guess I can see like the, the, the people who use it are more likely to be liberal, but I, I always thought it was a neutral thing. It's not something I say, so.
the Black Death is back again. Hmm. So are we going to really finish this out? Like, uh, or are we just going to tech? Yeah, let's just tech to Cam and just plow straight through his land. Okay, we're doing libraries everywhere that matters. <laughs> Honestly, I think the Dutch uh, should be more concerned about the Germans doing something like that. Okay, um, once we get these... Gosh darn... Oh my god, the Dutch! The fucking Dutch! Unbelievable. These people... You know, there, there are two things that I I really can't stand in this world. People who make unfair assumptions and generalizations and hate based on the, the ethnicity or nationality of another people. Can't stand that. I also can't stand the Dutch. The AI nation, of course. Okay, I think that's enough dramas here. Uh, yes. It's, I stole that. That's blatantly stolen from the Austin Powers movies. <laughs> In case you're wondering roughly how old I am that I still think. I, I actually, like... I guess this was four years ago. It wasn't even recently that I, I did like a movie marathon where we watched the all the Austin Power movies, and they're actually not that good. Like I could see why while while, while I was young they were they're quite funny and quite quotable, but they recycle a lot of the same. Especially when you watch them back to back to back, they recycle a lot of the same jokes. Why is that pop up on? I'm a big boy. I can figure that out myself. Yeah, oh, this, yeah, it should be on. I mean, I think it's fine to use, like, slurs against Nazis in particular, but you have to be careful because literally everybody thinks that their opponents are, are Nazis. So you have to be careful. Like you, I, I'd still encourage you to reserve it for literal Nazis and, and call literal Nazis whatever. I mean, call them slurs. For, don't call them like slur, slurs based on sexuality or gender or whatever. But Uh, that's that's pushing it a bit. I mean, like World War Two is literally killing Nazis. Uh, personally, I'm against like, but when people say things like, "We should punch Nazis," and I, I think we should like have robust hate speech laws such that punching Nazis is, is not necessary. Okay, guys, I'm going to have to ask you to, to stop talking. This is getting a bit... There is a specific Discord or <laughs> designed for, for talking. That's why I shouldn't talk about politics.
Yeah, I do think that's a good point, Lucian. Um, I, I think people, that's that's part of the issue when it comes to Nazis specifically, that people like just see them as like evil boogeyman and they don't see like, oh, actual people like support of the Nazi party. And not just like people who are like particularly bad, not just the people who like are mean to to cashiers at the Applebee's. Ordinary, decent, or I don't want to say decent, but normal people supported uh, the Nazis. And it's important to understand why, because it could happen to, to people you love if, if we're not careful. <laughs> Thanks, Servator. <laughs> okay, where are the weebs when we need them? Okay, if anyone wants a weeb, or everybody, anyone here is a weeb and wants to talk about their favorite anime, now you have, like, the floor is yours. I will amplify your voice. I will talk to you, and I will treat your opinion very seriously. So and now's the best time. Oh, Lego Star Wars. So is that like a Lego Star Wars game? So there's like a big thing with Lego and Star Wars, huh? They like have a whole deal together. Okay. Lucky Star is the best anime. Okay, tell me about Lucky Star. Sell me on why I should watch Lucky Star. You guys are gonna like start recommending me like some animes with a bunch of like Nazis and World War II stuff, aren't you? You guys hear about Attack on Titan? Isn't that one like uh, finishing up sometime soon? I mean, I don't think you can ever, I don't think it can ever be a slur based on someone's hobby. I mean, the question is, like, is it a mean thing to say or not? Uh, and I mean, I watch some anime. The anime, the people who watch anime on, in the Discord, they don't mind being called weebs. So, uh, I, I use, use the term. If you guys want me to stop, I'll stop. It's just a... <laughs> exactly. Uh, Sijinovka. What a fucked up show. I w I've only watched like five episodes. Glad I did. But wow, is that a fucked up show. Nice, we got rid of him. I mean, I'm pretty sure furries have always called themselves furries. <laughs> you don't have to be scared of, like, even if they're, like, our legit furries here, um, and you want to be, like, super polite to them, you don't you don't need to be scared of offending them by, by saying that. So, fun fact, if you hit, if there's, like, something in the corner of the map like this, you can hit delete, and I think, yeah, that'll let us uh, get some attacks in. I've, because I've already done it, Unit Ahmad Harald. I've done it like literally three times on stream. If you go through my stream history, you can find them. Uh, including some very famous times where I, I lost my king to the barbs over and over again. <laughs> Uh, is that a serious question, Majed? I, like, I don't want you to get, like, censored from the internet in, in Saudi Arabia. If, <laughs> yeah, I don't want you to Google. Don't Google that. Um, 
so people like imagine like a, a half animal half human hybrid the people who are into that in like a romant romantic or sexual way are, are called furries uh and they are weirdly prevalent on the internet Anyway, it's an extreme example. Like it, it's a good thought exercise because people like me being mean and making jokes about this group of people. Um, and it's a, a good question. Like, if you say like, where do you draw the line as to which group is okay to harass and bully? And, and what what jokes are are in good taste and what jokes are crossing the line? Wait, does Monarchy just have st just straight up have the commerce bonus? Oh, no, there's like a big river that runs around here. That's getting me all that commerce. Consider yourself fortunate, imagine. <laughs> uh, I think I might actually... Oh, oh, wow, this is weak. Okay, I've captured the city, so he can never... Uh... Yeah, morality laws do have their upsides at times. <laughs> yeah, I mean, there's a lot of fur furries who, like, claim that they, they like, just, like... It's kind of like other kin. If you guys probably do not know what that is, but they, they claim that like they they just like the idea of like having like an animal avatar, uh, and seeing that kind of representation in themselves, as like a, a thought experiment or like oh it wouldn't it be cool if I was this kind of half animal half like that would be a fun thing to be. Uh and yeah, so like maybe twenty percent of the community says that or claims that we'll take their words for it. I, I think it's mean to like. When people like claim up and down that something is non-sexual, to insist, no, no, that's totally sexual, you know. Um. But yeah, for most of the community, it is uh, sexual or it's part sexual. I know if someone is a furry here and wants to like use an alt account to <laughs> give us more information about furries. Feel free. Uh, so it's it's not it's not just uh, that thread bird. So there's people called other kin. So other kin are like that's more what you're talking about, where they just like oh they think that they are part werewolf, like they are they have some kind of connection to the wolf spirit. Although usually other kin weirdly are like they think that they're part dragon or like fictional creatures. I think it like came as an offspring of the like the Star Trek or the fantasy community that they thought they were like part elf or part Vulcan or something like that. How are these one health? Like are they fine? Is Germany sending some stuff at them? So there's like a particular musician who is like fairly big in the indie scene. And there are like serious convincing rumors that like part of his early start was like him posting his demos on like furry forums. So yeah, there will come a time where it becomes like more, it's slowly becoming more mainstream and I find that to be a bit scary, <laughs> but I'm not really sure what to do with this information either. <laughs> like you can't stop it. I know, I've always kind of seen it as, like, bestiality adjacent, so it's, like, it's kind of, like, a good thing to at least discourage, but, uh, yeah, I don't know. I mean, can't women drive in Saudi Arabia now?
I think there's definitely been some progress. Or whatever the government of Saudi Arabia wants to call it. You know, if someone can Google, can women drive in Saudi Arabia for us, just so we can settle this once and for all. Uh, and so we don't have to ask. I don't know if, I don't know what internet censorship is like in, in Saudi Arabia. If talking about political, even like talking about political issues in a neutral term is, is okay. Or whether like using certain terms will put you on a list. I don't know. But yeah, there, there certainly has been reform lately. I, I think that's a neutral statement that we can make conclusively. <laughs> okay, so where are we actually taking this game? Oh yeah, we're doing metallurgy soon. We've somehow not gone completely broke. And we're getting dies sometime soon. Uh, we we need this high because a lot of these cities are getting really big. Mm. Uh, we got the university in Constantinople next turn. Damn, maybe that Crusader Wonder would have actually been all right in this playthrough. Is that oh a settler? Oh that bastard. Uh, I think we take his gold if we kill his cities, so damn retreating is so OP. <laughs> we lose one unit after all that. He got the best RNG, but it didn't even matter. <laughs> he killed one unit for one unit. Can you bully the Germany? I, I think we're... We could sell them Saltpeter. Is there a second Saltpeter for us? They have Saltpeter. No, there is like literally no Saltpeter for us unless we... This is a bit of a reach, so we won't do it. Hmm. We don't really need that, though. Yeah, makeup in the car sounds like an awful way to, to put on me. <laughs> that sounds like a great way to fuck up your makeup. Oh my god, he's planting on the fucking... Oh no, Statue of Zeus, what have I done? The folly of man. Yeah, well, that's pretty good. Okay, I just need to not get catastrophically bad RNG. How, how, where did that come from? How is it already fortified? Was he just hanging out there? Oh my god. Eef.
They might have, uh, I don't think they had anything there. Yeah. That was just weird. Normally, it's just like they bought it, but like normally if they bought it, it wouldn't be fortified. So that's what it confused me so much there. Zero damage. Okay, that's fun. Full damage. Okay, that's fun. So, is this finally going to finish this fucking road? One turn. So what locks am I missing? Uh, I don't have dies. One, two, three, four, five, and six. So I'll be missing silks. Um, it's there. Silks and one of the... The jungle res spices. Where are the spices? I guess we'll never know. Are there just no spices on this map? No, oh, one spice. No two spice, no red spice, no blue spice. I gotcha. I can probably just start joining some of my workers um, for more commerce and for less unit support. Okay, there we go. That's that's down. So we can start using marketplaces for happiness if we really need to now. Hey, there we go. Sweet. Okay, we can stop with the, the universities. Yeah, yeah, I'll delay that a bit. And yeah, it's Chalcedon. We don't. We're going to presumably start teching, so no need to waste the shields and the maintenance on that. It's actually not that expensive to upgrade, too, so gold isn't... Yeah, the bigger issue is, is finishing the... Why is this... Is cities in disorder, but it actually doesn't show itself as in disorder? Bizarre. So this capital is here, so we can go, uh, we need to go here, to here, to here. Ah, uh, it's across a river, damn it. Okay, we need to somehow get onto this mountain. Where is this big stack? Eh, sun big stack coming for us, I guess. Hmm. Come on, Germany, do something. He attacked me here. Okay, let's join. Uh, any city with a marketplace is probably going to be doing good, but I think all the cities with no marketplaces are probably already size 12. Uh, okay. Guess we do need the surrogated. 
How can you trust AI based on Civ 3 play? And there's, uh, what, sorry? How is that city in Wheel of the King Day? Uh, I don't see what city was in Wheel of the King Day. Uh, I don't think any of them should have been, unless they had a market. Oh, yeah, I didn't build any marketplaces in any, any of the small cities. Ah, I'm not going to fall for that. Driverless cars. <laughs> the AI for cars is actually really, really good. Better than humans at this point. It's not a matter of trust. It's just statistically. Even if they sometimes make, make errors, which they, they don't really. Normally in cases when the AI... Like driverless cars have run into had accidents. It's been either because there was a human behind the wheel driving, or because of a human error uh, in another in another car. And they're getting better at, at dealing with other human errors. I mean, think about it. Like you spend so much time driving, and then just like maybe one thousandth of one percent of your your driving experience is in situations where it could potentially be dangerous. So you don't have a lot of, for, for one, you don't have a lot of experience with it and you don't expect it. Uh, so AI are, are actually much better suited for, for dealing because they just rely on their programming, which is pretty good. Okay, how many knights do I actually have here? 32, eh, that's pretty good, okay. But that's, I think that's kind of a backwards attitude, so Sishnoshka. Um, because, like, just straight up in the United States, like, 35,000 people die every single year. And a lot of that's preventable. If we switched over to AI drivers, that would the number would go down significantly. I mean, these are real people, you know? People just don't think it will happen to them, but it could happen to you, and it could happen to someone you love. So why not have a system that, that solves that? Oh my god. I can't believe we... Oh, we could do this. Nice, fine. Oh my fucking god. There, is that so hard? I can cut his iron. Like, I know you don't need a machine to eat your food, but if people, like, if 30,000 people were dying every year from eating food and, like, that number would be cut into a third by me having a machine feed me. And it's, being fed by a machine would be inconvenient. Being dr driven by a computer, you can just, like, chill, you can close your eyes, you can listen to music. I, I think that'd be a better driving experience. Like, occasionally you might want to go into manual. And I assume for the first hundred years, or at least within our lifetimes, there's never going to be a ban on human drivers. Um... And so you could still, if you wanted the experience of driving, you could you could drive, but it would be a lot safer for you if all the other drivers were not humans and they were machines. Okay, so we win this. I, I do want to take the capital, though. get you up there 
Ah, I need three gold. Are you kidding me? Okay. That's almost good enough. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Uh, I have no clue. Could sell some buildings. Probably some stuff I don't need. These temples are actually kind of clutch. I don't need this particular temple, though. Okay, there we go. Oh, no, I wasted my move. Ah! <laughs> the folly of man. I really hope I ho I'm hooking those gems soon. In the next 20 years? Eh, not that soon. That f what a fucker. Oh my god. Okay, that that guy has to fucking die. That's just too much. You you can't just sit there and expect me to take that. Uh, we do need to guard this tile. We're actually going to guard this one too. Will I win? Yeah, I mean, we're we're winning. Is there like victory points here? Yeah, like world area. If we just planted a bunch of cities, we probably could have won, but uh, I didn't do that. I didn't consider that there is a land area thing. Um, victory points. Oh, no, there's no victory points. It's just a domination victory. Hmm. Oh, he's got calves too now. Mm. Yeah, everywhere's about to fucking disorder because he cut two of my locks. Okay, let's see how this goes. So we just walk everybody over here. You can't make it in time for the main attack, so you'll stay back. Most other people, though, it's on. <laughs> Did he just plow into me with a stack of Swiss? Ugh, okay, I need to get here and then here, okay. So I guess we, the calves go here. Fortify and walk. This is too much for me to keep up with. Uh... Hmm. I, I know there's a speculation that the, the, the epidemic of fan deaths in Korea is really is like a euphemism for suicide, basically, that they'd they'd use it to cover up suicides. Like, oh he just he left his fan on and it sucked the oxygen out. It cut up the oxygen, you know.
I don't think capital punishment is actually that common in, in Saudi Arabia. Maybe I'm mistaken. I probably, I'm almost sure it, I'm sure it exists, but. Even Iran is supposed is starting to, to ease up on it. So I'm just going to just shove random units into his land like this so he he's distracted and he can't get at me. Ah. Please. <laughs> yeah, that's a legitimate risk, Lucian. But no, it's like room, fans in your room. Like they, they actually sell them with a, a special timer that turns off in Korea because there's that. Uh... Stigma. Or not stigma, the, the superstition. He's eating away with my stack, but not quickly enough. He's killed like two units. Okay, let's do this. Yeah, we did it. Okay, that's new alliances, people. Demigod difficulty. Woo! So does the game just end, or does it really make me play at the next 13 turns? Okay. Nice, two hours. That was a nice little uh, dense campaign. Okay. <laughs> Please, I don't have any fans, Majid. I only have... You guys aren't suede fans. You are uh, suede Civ 3 enjoyers. That's the Chad way of being a fan, right? Damn, look at this fast expansion that we did. It wasn't actually that fast. Okay. So uh, let me guys let me know if you guys have any ideas for next week. I, I might take the week off depending on how my my coursework is going and everything like that. I just wanted something short today. I'm glad I could do something conclusively. I feel like having a particular goal before the stream. Like if I just try to decide on stream, I, I just half-ass it and I he and ha and it's like 30 minutes before I actually start playing, or I, I start playing something for something for half an hour and I switch to something else. Awful. Yeah, if you guys follow me on Twitter, you saw that I actually got my first offer to be an influencer. Uh, I, I marked it as spam, of course. Uh, I'll show you guys the email. Oh my god, it was so generic. But it's like an important milestone. So yeah, if you want important, uh, <laughs> very important memes like this one, the pants are the pants are warrior. <laughs> uh, if you want important updates like this, you guys can follow me on Twitter. It's Swage of Three. Uh, oh yeah, here it is. Beautiful. I can be a brand ambassador. Ooh. I mean, he wasn't trying to... I appreciate that he wasn't trying to sell me anything. Like, oh, just buy these video games and review them. And then we'll, we'll feature you and, and you'll get a massive following and then they do nothing. Uh, so yeah, that, but maybe in 5,000 subs later, I'll actually start getting... I, I don't really want to do... That's that sounds pretty awful. I don't know. I, I said that about monetizing the channel. I still don't. I still don't ask for likes and I don't ask for subscriptions. Uh, in fact, I act actively discourage it at some points. And if you guys are sick of seeing my videos on your front page, I'm begging you guys hit that unsubscribe button. Just like smash it as hard as you can, because I don't want you. If you're not watching my videos, you shouldn't have them because it's bad for my metrics. If you <laughs> if you're subscribed but you're not watching my videos. Uh, yeah, I, I don't, I don't ask for subscriptions on specific videos that I think are like good general content that I think have a lot of reach if they, they gain popularity, I think, and ones that I've worked hard on. So like the one, 101 tips, I remember I, I asked for likes because that was a, a very in-depth video <laughs> and I had to talk for probably about 90 minutes just to get on, on the script. Was it like, yeah, it was like a 70 minute script or something like that. Um... 
Yeah, so it... God. But yeah, I did monetize the channel when I swore I'd never monetize the channel. So I'm a hypocrite. I might change my mind later. But at the moment, being an influencer seems kind of stupid. Especially when they phrase it as being an influencer. Oh my God. Just the people on Instagram who like... I understand if they have a lot of followers, that's one thing, but... I don't know. I really hope you guys wouldn't buy something just because I told you to buy them. Or told you to buy it. Speaking of which, this is a good time for a transition. If you have Civ 3 on Steam, if you don't have Civ 3 on Steam, buy Civ 3 on Steam. Because you need Civ 3 on Steam to play multiplayer Civ 3. So, we're going to be doing a multiplayer game. I will ping. So, at new player. Oh, it's probably at 4, right? You guys... Uh, game at 4 p.m.? Yeah, so uh, there's a link to the Discord in the description of this video. If you join the Discord, you can join the new player game. I think it will be in in two hours, so in an hour, sorry, in an hour and 50 minutes. Um, the, <laughs> Gamer Boy Bathwater. You'll have to do a custom order for that one, Bailey. Uh, yeah, it will probably be an MPT, I'm guessing. Maybe a QC. I know Kismic has been getting really into QC. QC actually, Kismic, he's been here for like three days and he already 1v1'd one of the, like the 15 year veterans of the community and, and won at QC. He, he just played one game and he instantly got it. I, I don't know what happened. It's incredible. So yeah, in two hours, Threadbird, if you guys have time. Uh, it'll be we'll be advertising in the discord so yeah it'll be a new player game so you don't have to worry about getting your ass kicked by someone who's been playing for 12 years you'll be against players of comparable skill so yeah uh with just the disc and not steam so technically yes but you can't play with us so the way it works is that steam hosts the multiplayer servers for civ 3 they used to be hosted by GameSpy, but GameSpy, uh i think they went out of business and they, and they sold it to steam so if you have it on the CD or if you have it on good old games, you can still play multiplayer Civ 3, but you, you can't use the Steam servers. So what you have to do is you have to play direct IP, and that would have to be with other people who have the game on disc or on... Um, sorry, on disc or through good old games. Uh, because when you have the game on Steam, like if, if you have it on CD, you'll notice that when you go into multiplayer internet... There'll be a button here called Direct IP, and that's not actually not available. So what you'd do is you'd find your IP address, and you'd, it, it's a bit harder to set up, but it's just as good. It, it doesn't have some of the features as, and the stability of the Steam servers. Like, you run into issues with uh, conflict. Uh, the thing is that a lot of us, like, I mean, we could pretty, but we could pirate the game pretty easily. I used to have, like, straight up, like, a pirated copy of Steam, or of Civ 3, in addition to the one on Steam on an old computer. Uh, but nobody plays direct IP anymore, so I haven't bothered. So yeah, you do need the game on Steam. It costs like $4. Uh, sometimes it's on sale for $1.50 if you're, if you're patient and you want to wait and you want it for cheap. Uh, if you ask very polite, like if you express a lot of interest and like are active in the Discord and you ask someone to buy it for you, I I'm pretty sure somebody would. Uh, like we've set aside, some people have set aside money for that. So yeah. Uh, you don't know my my real name is Suede. It start for my name is Sue. My first name is Sue, and my last name is Civil. Civilly, Suede, Suede, Sue, Civilly. Yeah, wait, oops, Civilly. It's just when it's in all caps that it looks like Civ Civ three, but it's actually Civilly. Uh, I'm half Italian and half Johnny Cash. Yeah, actually, the only way I'd consider doing a face reveal is if I was, like, wearing some kind of outfit. So if I'll see if I, like, know anyone who, like, knows anything about cosplaying, if I can put together a Galax Swordsman costume. That would be hilarious as, like, a Halloween thing. Let's see. Okay, what is the Galax Swordsman actually? It's my profile pic, but I, I actually don't know what it looks like. This is a garlic swords. <laughs> I'd have to make, like, a, a garlic mask for my head. <laughs> take off my sh I do actually I'm actually uh, like I, I look decent shirtless I could get into decent shape so I could match the uh the physique of the Gallic swordsman uh a sword would be pretty easy to do and I just need green pants yeah okay that's doable yeah if I could get the garlic mask that might be asking for a bit 
<laughs> you know, I'll just get one of those horse masks and paint it white, I guess. Uh, that'd be a good in-between. Yeah, I'll consider it for Halloween. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the stream, and I'll see you guys next time.